If you want me to continue with my work, it is crucial to support the channel via Patreon. Moreover, make sure to subscribe to Bobby's Perspective on Rumble. All the links are in the description box below. May Allah bless you all. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel if you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna watch how an ex-Muslim girl completely exposes Islam. Yes, I'm absolutely sure she will. Just by her little YouTube video today, she will dismantle 1,400 years of Islam and end it today, of course. Guys, before we jump into the video, do me the favor. If you enjoy my work over here, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please check out the links in the description box. All right, now with no further ado, let's have a look. Oh, thank you. You appreciate it. Yes, yes, you're looking pretty. That's what attracted us to you. Let me give you some more compliments. I'm trying to know like what you believe in, what makes you believe in what you believe and why are you doing what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, for me, I, I like, I don't have any religious or I'm agnostic because I was before Muslim. Wow. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been Muslim wow. like, for a long time. That but dangerous like, religion. The thing that no. made, made me leave my religion is that a lot, there is a lot of humiliating principles in Islam. Mm. As a woman, I can't believe in these things. Mm. Honestly, like, What's I'm not humiliating? trying to be racist or Islamophobia, mm. actually, but... Try to be yourself. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> Try to be yourself. no one is in his fully mental health would believe in that. Because this is insulting for humanity, honestly. <laughs> like, in Quran, in Sunnah, sure. they're saying that it's okay Truth. to beat women. It's okay to, to take all... To, to, to take her freedom and all these things. It's always the same arguments. It's okay to beat a woman. Yeah, show me a passage in the Quran where it clearly states it's absolutely okay to just beat women. Yeah, go out and beat women, beat your woman at home. It is absolutely fine. This is what the Quran states. This is, of course, an absolute lie. But moreover, the really important aspect here is that she says it's okay to beat women, uh, take away their freedom. And this is, of course, a liberal standpoint. This is filmed in the UK a liberal country and therefore those ideas get infused into your head and you conflate them with freedom. What is freedom truly? Nowadays freedom is, according to liberals, to get an abortion for example or to have multiple sex partners, to wear what you want no matter how many aspects of your body are exposed. That is all your freedom. They do not understand that all of those freedoms, quote-unquote, are short-term gratifications. They feel good in the moment and later on you're gonna regret them. For example, as a woman in your 20s, you have casual sex with multiple partners. You do that throughout your 30s. In your 30s, now you're childless and you're frustrated. You didn't build a family. You're left with nothing. You run to a dead-end job. You come back home alone eating pizza and swiping on your Tinder app trying to find a meaning in life. This is what your freedom brought you to. Short-term gratification will never bring you anywhere. You come home from work, now you can sit down on the couch, watch some movies and eat hamburgers. That feels good in the moment. In the long run you might get a heart attack, in the long run you're not accomplishing anything. So get your butt up and go to the gym. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Oh, how oppressive. I just want to sit on the couch. You would never say that to this example because you would see the value within that example. However, in the West, they told you that it is not valuable to be a woman that guards her chastity, a woman that dresses modestly, a woman that aspires to be a mother and a wife. All of those things through feminism have been displayed as something negative. Fight the patriarchy and you fell for it. And because you believe that those liberal standards are true now, this is why you automatically, of course believe that Islam is evil, bad and oppressive. You do not see the value anymore, but guess what? In a few years time you will and it's gonna be you that is depressed. Like she's still young. This is what I believe this is what I believe. Actually. Yeah. That's why actually. that's why uh, I don't believe. But you know the Muslim, you know, because I actually reach out to Muslim because we love people. We they deny people. this. They say oh women <laughs> get a lot of rights and many Western women actually, even become Muslims. 
they don't want to admit that there's a lot of wrong things in Islam. Uh -huh. But if you if you if you read define wrong, yeah, then, explain many wrong things. Of course, you cannot explain it. I wouldn't expect anything here from a 20 year old woman. However, rethink really about. She said she's agnostic. She's an atheist. What have you? She doesn't adhere to a religion. But she's gonna tell you what is right and wrong, based upon. What? That is the true question here, and no atheist agnostic can reflect upon that. Because she's just a girl, I know that. I'm not really talking to her, I'm talking to my audience over here. If we take her point, and she really would firmly stand in her agnostic view, she would have to admit that she's standing upon nothing. An agnostic says, I do not know. So if your fundament of your moral worldview is, I do not know, then you obviously cannot tell me what is right and wrong wrong. An atheist will tell you, I believe this is wrong. Based upon what? You don't believe in God, you do not believe in universal truths, in moral guidelines, in rights and wrongs. You believe in relativism. So if everything is relative, your opinion is relative. But the agnostic is even worse, because the agnostic says, I'm not taking a position, I'm a fan sitter over here, and I do not know, could be. So if you tell me it could be, then I tell you how it will be. There is right and there is wrong. Your opinion is wrong. Go home. There is Sonia. Simple. And if you open the Quran, the real Quran, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna see all of this written there. Mm -hmm. It's like it's Islam. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, but what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say what I believe in. The people who apply Islam, like the real Islam, it's ISIS. These yeah. people, these crazy <laughs> people are applying it. She totally debunked Islam now. So ISIS that is predominantly killing Muslims, those are the real Muslims. This is real Islam. Listen to me, I'm gonna tell you what I believe now. Like to the, to the because Muhammad he had sex slaves, he, uh, he have, promoted have, like eleven ones? Yeah. And also it says no, in the Quran 11. that you know Who's counting? I think it's a Quran that you know you can possess sex slaves in your right hand. Exactly. So you can have unlimited sex slaves and some Muslim scholars they don't even deny this. Yeah. Some, you because know. They don't want to admit the sheikhs have spoken. Yes, this is what everybody agrees with. This is absolutely ridiculous, of course. Concubinage slaves, quote unquote, are not even allowed in Islam any longer. This is what most scholars will agree with. The majority of Islam agrees that there is no concubinage at all anymore. Yeah. There are things in the religion. That's what I think. Uh, they don't want to admit that their religion is completely crazy, honestly. I was Muslim since like crazy, um, 18 years of my life. Since I born, I am Muslim Great. and I Great. left Islam once I got like an adult, I left that because... What do you live now? Why you don't even know what you're living now. interested in, in letting us know that Jesus Christ came to give us freedom. Because the enemy came to deceive us. Why Jesus came to give us freedom? And they want to do everything possible to stop the truth from people knowing the truth. Yeah, so what she's misconflating over there, she really believes that Jesus came to give you freedom. That's not what Jesus said whatsoever. Jesus said he came to fulfill the law. He said that nothing within the Mosaic law will be changed. However, later on then, you have the doctrine of Paul, Paulianity, if you will, in which he tells you that the law has been abandoned now. During the time of Paul, most of the original Christians disagreed with that, of course. However, him working for the Roman government had of course a different intention here. Christianity, Paulianity, became the state religion of the Roman Empire later on. It was catering to the pagans of Europe and hence the Europeans could continue with drinking alcohol, eating pork and what not. Yes, they really kept their freedoms, but this is definitely not what Jesus came to do. You see, so that's why Jesus is the person who has come to give us the truth about God. He came to show us the way to live this life. Okay, so what is the truth of God then? Did Jesus come and tell you, listen guys, I am God, listen guys, actually I am the son of God as well, and on top of that, somehow I'm the Holy Spirit, we are three in one, God is a trinity, did Jesus come for that? No, of course not, but this is what Christians claim. Life of God and life of God to us, that we are not meant to be in the bondage, we are not meant to come and serve any other God, anything other than Christ. No, that's why Christ is God in the flesh. Jesus is God in the flesh. So he actually came to... Yeah, I call Shirk. <coughs> ...has been transferred, you know, to us, not knowing about God and all that. But the thing uh -huh. is, who God to 
show us. The girl is just nodding, she doesn't even understand anything. In the nature, in the things that he has made, he has proven it to us. And even the Bible says we are made from his image, you see, and after his likeness to live like him. You get what I mean? So, but the enemy has come. He said the enemy only come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is why we see all of these things. So, religious practices. What do you think about this, what she just said? Honestly, like, a... like, yeah, she's, she's speaking from her point of view. Uh -huh. But the thing is, it's not only... Yeah, she doesn't believe what, what, I, what, I, what I know, it's not only Islam that have like humiliated and insulted the principles to women and to, 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 different, to different people, like LGBTQ community, for example. Mm. Like, <laughs> all the religions, like, if you are Jewish, if you are Christian, if you are Muslim, they, all the religions, they, they admit that, like, this is the first correct thing that she said. Yes, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, all of them in their core have a stance against quote unquote ism. The Bible has the clearest stance of it. If you read in Leviticus, you will see if you see a man laying with another man as he lay with a woman, you should surely put them to death. This is what the Bible says. And therefore, yes, Sexuality is condemned in all of the three major Abrahamic faiths. That's just what it is. And if Christians tell you this is not the case, if Jews tell you that's not the case, or even if Muslims tell you that is not the case, then they're of course lying. Yes, religiously speaking, from the Abrahamic faith standpoint, homosexuality is considered wrong, is considered sinful. That is the stance. Why is that so? Because does not lead to productive outcomes such as the nuclear family. Two males or two females cannot reproduce and hence cannot create a society. A society couldn't stand upon sexuality. It is impossible. It goes against nature. It goes against God's design. And therefore, yes, Abrahamic faith-wise, this is absolutely prohibited. The real question here is, of course, why you are taking the side of the ABCDEFG people. The answer to this is very simple. This is not a genuine thought. This is not something that you came up with. This is something that has been indoctrinated into you. You just have to look around. The push is there from all sides, starting in kindergarten. You see it on social media. You see it everywhere being pushed upon this generation. There's, of course, a deeper agenda at hand here. There is a movement to destabilize the family and like that ruin a nation. And this is all I can say over here on this platform. Let's proceed with the video. So, to clarify, I know about religion. Uh -huh. You see? Yeah. So the religion so, so is actually sweet. to limit people from getting the truth. Mm. So, but yeah, 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 exactly. Let's get back to that. Let's talk about the truth yet again. Let's not talk about reality within Christianity. Let's not talk about what the Bible says about homosexuals. The Quran does not word it like the Bible. The Quran does not say, surely put them to death. You are an abomination. That's not what the Quran says. Those are the words of the Bible. The Christians want to pretend they're all so nice, so warm and loving. Let's talk about the truth of Jesus. Preach, sister. So that is more reason why we need to read ourselves. So if we want to use our standard and feel, oh, uh, this person is doing this, so the girl right. doesn't get anything. Then we are also wrong. You see, that's why we can't even get the freedom we are looking for. We can't even get the, 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 the truth ourselves. You see, yeah, you know. So we just encourage people. You as a person, you go and search God for you. You, you as a person, you have to be sincere first. It's just on being the, being truthful to yourself. That's what Christians yeah, say all the time, man. When I was still an Orthodox Christian, guess what? I wanted to stay an Orthodox Christian, and back then I spoke about this multiple times. I actually hated Islam. May Allah forgive me. So therefore, I didn't want to become a Muslim. Even after reading the Quran, I was struggling every day. I saw the truth in the Quran, but I told myself, man, Christianity must be right. How can I stay within this religion? So so I tried, even though I tried already three years prior to this, I still tried every day to pray to Jesus and ask God who he truly is. God, please, God, show me who you are. Are you Allah or are you Jesus? Please, please reveal yourself to me. Guess what happened? Did Jesus appear magically in my bedroom? No, of course not. I reverted to Islam. Alhamdulillah. If you are sincere, 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 sincere yes. who you are find out who you are and what he has made you. Even All of those people had visions. So until you do that, you will never get that freedom. So 
can I carry fight one minute about yeah. LGBT? No mental ill man. Oh, I'll let you. Do you have a passport for her? So, but I will let you get on. Basically, you look very pretty for your date. I hope it goes well. In terms of LGBT, um, I want to clarify. Wow, so like the man! Look at those Christians, man! Amazing job here. It does not matter that she is out and about going to meet men outside of marriage. Something that is not allowed within Christianity whatsoever. Just go on dates now. Yay! As long as you're against Islam, you are our friend. Absolutely fine. You look pretty. Dress up. Put on that mini skirt. Put on the red panties. Let's get out there. Meet some men. This is the hypocrisy of Christianity. But they're telling her about the truth of God. Yeah, sure. Look very pretty for your date. I hope it goes well. In terms of LGBT, um, I want to clarify. It's not like the Bible would burn these people but the bible says fornicators like sex before marriage liars adulterers will not make it to oh marriage. finally thank you um, i take everything back guys but it's not um yeah it's not like we love people but it's against the natural law of god and that's all it is but it's also sex before marriage so it's not and we don't hate this cool. people it's just the bible finally Obviously, we i follow appreciate the bible. it respect it um, but we wouldn't throw it off a building like Muslims yeah. say so we don't do that. Yeah, no. so fantastic. We actually do agree with Islam on the stance on homosexuality and adultery. We have the same perspective on this. However, we don't throw them off the building. So you're telling me that God says something is wrong and the Muslims abolish that evil. You, on the other hand, see that it's evil, but you're just gonna look at it and say, we love all people. No, it makes no, no, perfect no, but we sense. have to say the truth. Amazing. We have to say the truth. That Finally. It's the same as Good. communication. Good for you. Do you. I'm gonna get a gospel quickly. Can I give right. you, whilst you wait, sorry. That's fine. That's fine. I'll be, okay. All right, this is it for today's video, long enough as it is. Finally, in the end, as I said, hey, respect where respect is due. At least they spoke the truth. At least they told her that fornication, adultery is wrong within Christianity as well. However, then I don't understand why you tell her, oh, you're so pretty. I hope your date goes well. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> to cut the story as short as possible, if you go into the scripture, be it the Torah, be it the Bible, be it the Quran, they basically agree with 90% of things maybe even more. The main difference, however, between Judaism, Christianity, and Islam would be, of course, the law. In Islam, Sharia. In Judaism, you still have a law. In Islam, you still have the law. However, the Christians, due to Paul, as I said, abandoned the law. And therefore, they're facing hypocrisy over and over again. Their book says one thing, but they do another. The book says, do not eat swine, it shall be filthy for you. They simply go into the New Testament and Paul said, well, only those words that are coming out of your mouth, this is what defiles you, so eat what you will. Yeah, all right, go eat cockroaches then, eat a rat then, if everything is fine. You're picking and choosing, of course. And the same applies to homo and adultery as well. You go into the Old Testament, you find all the laws laid out. This is how God sees it. However, then you say, oh, well, but I have to love my neighbor and I have to point to the other cheek. So ultimately, I'm not going to do anything. So you are telling me that if you see evil, you are doing nothing. The only people that truly stand up to evil are the Muslims. All right, guys, and this is it. Absolutely amazing. This girl really debunked Islam. We are done now. We are finished. We can pack our bags. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel via Patreon, for example, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.